Hello everybody. My name is Diana Salami. Uh, also known as Granny Mae and a host of other characters on YouTube. I'm coming at you to um, discuss uh, a missing person. Her name is Susan, also known as Tunisian's wife. Um, she does a, a lot of characters. Trixie was her main character. She was very well loved. And when she left YouTube and the internet, she done it abruptly for no known reason. She just left. I don't know what the reason was. So many people were so concerned that they tried to contact her. I, I called her several several times. I actually spoke with her husband once. He said she was fine. Uh, he would have her to return the call. She never did. Um, Irene actually called the police because she was worried about her uh, and had the police go check on her and the neighbors said she was out walking her dog. I've had countless people on YouTube who knew that Susan and I were what I thought were personal friends to contact me and say that they were worried, they were disappointed, some were even upset because she had just walked away without saying goodbye. And I've always said we, we don't know why people do the things that they do. We, they have some reason. We don't know what that reason is. But I always did feel that unless she was in a coma, that she could have left a message on her channel saying she was taking a break or that she was leaving the internet for whatever reason it was her life it was her it was her right to leave if it was time for her to leave but the way she did it was wrong she had people that really did love her people who really believed those comments that she left and, and all the support that she appeared to give everybody. They believed it. And for her to turn her back on them was devastating to so many people. I mean, I've had to deal with some of those people. I've become closer to some of those people because of, of that connection. And, and I felt their pain. But I felt it was Susan's right to leave if she wanted to leave or if she needed to leave. Um, but at the same time, she could have done it in a way where she could have had closure with us. She could have said goodbye. People now are starting up channels, you know, we miss you Susan, uh, videos, tribute videos for Susan. I called her tonight on the telephone, like I have done so many times. And if she ever listens to this, she'll know it's the truth. She answered the phone and I was so shocked. I was calling to wish her a happy Thanksgiving. I was so shocked when she actually picked up the phone. I said, who is this? And she said, Susan. And I said, Susan, this is Diana. And I just called to wish you a happy Thanksgiving. The phone went dead. She hung up on me. Without saying a word. I immediately tried to call her back to her home phone and to her cell phone with no answer. That was like a slap in the face to someone who we exchanged gifts regularly 
with one another. We met in Memphis and had a wonderful holiday last year. We were what I thought personal friends. Now I know that we all go through bad times. All of us go through some shitty times. That's life. That's what being human is. Some of us more than others. This year has been a year from hell for my husband and I. First he lost his job. The only job that he could find in town was a janitor at a bank and he lost that job. The bank foreclosed on our home. We had to move in by and move into a literal shack to have a roof over our heads. And by the way, the roof has not been too good because it's leaked and ruined everything in the house. So I know what it's like to have had a year from hell. And I also know what it was like not to have my friend Susan there to talk to about this. To be there to be my support. She's not the only one that left my life this year. There were several others that were very hurtful and I did learn a big lesson that is, it is a world of make-believe and you don't get too awfully attached to people. On the internet in general and especially on YouTube, unless you've got a thick skin, if you've got a thick skin you can, you can survive because there's a lot of ass wipes out there. There's a lot of people who love drama. They love to cause trouble. They love to say, guess what so and so said about you. Well, I'm not in high school. I don't care. I'm probably thinking worse about them. I, I don't care. I, I have bipolar disorder. I take medication for that. So my nerves are bad anyway. You know, I think the world is against me. I went through years of not even leaving my house because I would have panic attacks. So I don't want people telling me what other people on YouTube are saying about me. It don't matter. It does not matter. Because if they've got time to talk about me, then they probably aren't much to them either. So... You know, but I've had people to, to put together campaigns to get people to uh, unsub to me and not be my friend. And you know, for what? Because you disagree with me? Disagree with something I said? I've not said anything before about Susan. And any of the personal demons that she has, that's her business. Because I have my own. But when you hang up on me, whenever money is as tight as it is, and I make a long distance call to wish you Happy Thanksgiving, and you hang up in my ear, after I've needed to talk to you, my friend, all year, then that's unforgivable. Happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>